Hello everybody, welcome to uh, a very grey Whitby Harbour. Now some of you may know that I actually work on the Harbours team down here, I have the pleasure of doing that. And also I have the very pleasurable duty of occasionally opening this beautiful thing behind me, this thing of wonder, the Whitby Swing Bridge. We open that for vessel traffic, inbound and outbound. Uh, visitors come to the harbour, it's a focal point for them and they often have so many questions. How does it work and who operates it? Well, with my advantage of working down at the harbour, I thought I would do a video that explains all that for you guys, or at least I try to explain all of that. Uh, and hopefully it, it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Well, one question that people ask, uh, or what people think when they come here, is they think the swim bridge lifts up like something out of Thunderbirds. Um, it doesn't. Uh, the clue is in the name, Swing Bridge. The Swing Bridge swings out into and faces the upper harbour. We can open one side for smaller boats or for bigger vessels, um, like <laughs> for bigger vessels like trawlers, etc. We do two. We do a double opening on, on both sides. It's uh, operated on request by the bridgemen. 365 days a year over every high water period so they don't just do an opening when there's no boats that need it um, so vessels will come into the harbour or they will be coming down from Parkle they'll use Channel 11 uh, on their VHF handset to request the bridge opening and vessels coming from the sea will always have priority over vessels that are coming down uh, from the upper harbour there uh, because of uh, the swell conditions etc tidal currents so that's it in a, in a, in a nutshell that's how the uh, bridge works and uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy the rest of this video where there's going to be a point of view experience of how the bridge opens <laughs> The River Esk has been crossed in this location for centuries. In 1351, King Richard III allowed for tolls to be collected which would pay for the maintenance of the bridge. In 1550, or around the 1550s, it was understood that these tolls were around £6 per annum. In 1629, the Justices of North Riding made an agreement to replace the current wooden bridge with one that had moving parts. And that it was later replaced uh, by a drawbridge in 1833. That was designed by Francis Pickerel, who at the time was the engineer for the trustees of Whitby Piers and Harbour. By the 20th century, the 45 foot clearance of the bridge um, was restricting the size of vessels that could be built upstream in, in, the, in the harbour. So a replacement was commissioned by Whitby Urban District Council. It was designed by J. Mitchell Mancrief, uh, or Moncrief, sorry, Moncrief, of Newcastle, and constructed by the engineers Heenan and Freud of Manchester. They famously also built the Blackpool Tower. Uh, the construction was started in 1908 and was finished in 1909. The current bridge consists of two leaves moved by electric motors, which are operated by our bridgemen. The bridge originally carried the A171 road uh, through the town but congestion was getting too much so in 1980 a new bridge, the new bridge in Whitby, what we call it now, was built and that now carries the A171 road. Here's Alan Wastel, uh, retired bridgeman of 30, 34 years, yeah? I was a bridgeman for yeah. 34 years and enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, what was your favourite bit, Alan? When we used to get big ships opening for the big ships. Aye. 
but don't get that for the last 25 years. Everybody knows this man, Alan Wassell, very, very famous in Whitby. So this Thank is uh, James Price. James, how long have you been here? I've been here 29 years. Yeah. And uh, what, your favourite, what was your favourite part of, of being on this job? The favourite part is the summertime, it's lovely weather. Lovely weather, yeah, it is down here. So if you want to find out the information about when the high water is for each day, you can come to this board that's on the, uh, on the bridge house here. So today, Friday the 3rd of February, day of high water was 0241, the PM1 is 1457. And there we have the tidal heights. So you can then work out from then when the bridge openings might be, if you actually want to see one with your own eyes. The tidal data for the, for the remainder of the year is also posted on the door there. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how Whitby Swing Bridge operates. I'm going to be doing the bridge with James. We've, we've pressed the traffic button there to stop the traffic coming over. Now we're going to ring the bell. That's to tell all the general members of the public that the, uh, we're about to open the bridge. Come outside. We'll then make sure everybody gets across uh, before we close the gate. So we've got a few people just coming across now. And we're uh, going to do a, a single opening for this one because it's a putting boat down there that's going to come through. Billy's on that side, he doesn't have to uh, open that side, he just still has to man the uh, control panel. Um, so it's only this side that's going to open. You can hear the uh, motors going now. The jacks will withdraw, yeah. Jacks will withdraw, won't they? Yeah. And then uh, in a moment or two, we'll start swinging out towards the upper harbour there. So maybe what I didn't mention in the video before is that um, we class the period of over high water as the four hours over high water. So two hours before, two hours afterwards, um, the bridges will operate on the hour and a half hour, but on request. So, Our side is fully open, um, and it's at this point that if we needed to, uh, Billy would open that side for a double opening. Of course, we're in the winter now, but in the summertime when we do bridge openings, there's a lot of people and a lot more cars to, that have to wait. Um, so there's a lot more people <coughs> that we have to clear off the bridge to start the before we do the bridge openings so things do take a few minutes uh, longer so do bear with the bridge men um, in that case um, yeah it gets quite hectic here in the summer oh in the winter there's only a few people waiting and a couple of cars waiting so we won't be long doing that there we go Boat's called uh, Our Henry, going through to his berth after a day at sea. Maybe the lads will give us a wave. Okay, now. Hey up! Too busy getting the rope sorted uh, on the deck. The hard working lads, these lads. So now that's it, the boat's gone through. We're going to uh, press the close up, close button on the. Uh, well, James is going to do that. Press the close button on the uh, control panel there and we'll start to swing. From time to time the uh, swing bridge will uh, break down. Um, the lads very quickly get onto that and try 
to resolve the issues themselves. Sometimes we have to call the engineers out um, and they will get here as quick as they can. Um, these things happen, so when that happens, uh, if you are here, then just bear with us. Um, in that instance, uh, this bridge is ever so old. Um, so, you know, it, from time to time, those sort of things will happen. That's Marina Van Callum. Off shift, having a nice night out in Whitby. <laughs> Look at him, he's doing a pose for us. <laughs> okay, so the motor's uh, turned off now and we're going to go and now we'll just open the open the gates for the members of the public and um Once all the people have cleared the bridge, which in the winter is uh, in, uh, a minute or, you know, a minute maximum, uh, we'll turn the traffic lights back on um, and the traffic will be able to go. So that is how the swing bridge works. I hope you enjoyed that video, ladies and gentlemen.